In this video, we're going to take a look at the Explain Everything app for the iPad. In a nutshell, this app allows you to annotate directly on the iPad and create a lesson that your students can look at on their computers afterwards. Let's take a look at the app. Once I'm inside the Explain Everything app, what I'm going to do is click on New Project, Blank Project, and now I'm ready to go. In the next part of the video, I'm going to go on my iPad and record the rest of this presentation using Explain Everything. Here we go. Now there's lots of different tools that you can use in Explain Everything, but I want to just stick to the basics. So the first thing I'd like to show you is over here. This is the new slide tool. And the new slide allows you to create different slides, and each slide can have a different recording on them. The next tool is the pencil tool. And the pencil tool allows you to draw annotations on the screen as you are speaking. Right below that, you have the laser pointer tool. The laser pointer tool allows you to point at things on the screen without actually drawing anything. Next, we're going to look at insert image, which can be found right over here. Now, you can insert images from your iPad's camera or from images from the internet. And what's cool about that is as you're talking, you can move around the images, you can make them bigger, smaller, rotate them or whatnot, and the iPad will record everything you do. Below that, you have the recording controls, which are your standard controls for playing and recording. Another thing you can do if you're not interested in moving images around the screen and you want something straightforward is you can do explanations where you're writing on the screen and as you're writing it will record everything you're writing. So if you're a math teacher and you're doing something like a math problem, let's do something really complicated here, uh, how about 4 plus 4 equals 8, I can actually explain my math problem as I'm doing it. Another neat feature is that you can choose different colored pencils too. So if I wanted to circle the answer or anything else I wanted to do on the screen, I can do it in different colors. Last but not least, if you decide to use this app, I would recommend that you purchase an inexpensive stylus that looks something like this. And that's what I'm using right now. It allows you to draw on the iPad screen with a pen instead of using your finger. It allows you to do much clearer handwriting. 